Please come forward, pop your post-it, start talking about it a little bit. Put it up on a big post-it and whack it up um, over there. If anyone wants to get involved in that, there are these little post-its here. Um, and you can come and add your name and stick them on here so that Simon knows. So that sounds like an emerging biosensing community. Yeah. <laughs> so if anyone wants to add their name to the bigger post-it so Simon knows who to contact. Hi, I'm Jeff, everyone. Um, I'm doing a project called Nervous Music which I think is related to Simon's thing in the fact that I want to use his heart rate sensors, <laughs> if he will let me. Um, I want to use basically like sensors, uh, we're using kind of little skin sensors at the moment to detect moisture in the skin to kind of affect the way music instrument sounds, like make it more out of tune or something like that. Um, I actually, I have two sensors, so like depending on what happens with other stuff, like we could feasibly share this one. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Roofing, mostly analogue, but I'm also obviously interested in a lot of like digital stuff, so most of the photography related things I've put up are up here, which include a DIY pinhole camera workshop, and I also want to get Zizek into lectures, so if anyone has a, something good to follow. I'm working on my PhD in aesthetics now, and uh, what I want to do is to figure out ways of using portable EEGs and watching movies with the EGs on our heads, figuring out if we can do that alone or with other people, uh, and playing around with film and music. What am I doing? I'm doing a book sprint. So we're going to make a book tomorrow. Um, by the end of the day, we will have uh, written some stuff, made some pictures, stuck them all together in a file, put them somewhere uh, where we can make them into a book. I'm a kind of break dancer basically, um, and I'm, I'm kind of got into P-Funk uh, quite recently, and I kind of want to make, make Mothership basically, like uh, George Clinton's kind of uh, funk opera um, set with like loads of crazy shit going on basically. Um, so It's like an alternative learning space where anyone can offer to teach anything they like and they come up with a list of things that they'd be willing to um, receive in exchange for their class and then when you sign up to come to class you agree to bring one of the barter items for the teacher. A 3D game that is not about high scores, but about uh, visual self-expression. I'm building an installation from different objects. So how you progress into the game, uh, you're watching the projection that you are controlling. It's called uh, Mood Conductor. So that's a system to create interaction between uh, spectators during a performance and, and performers through uh, mobile device technology. So I feel like it's amazing to have a space uh, like Barbican and maybe to take a little part of this space, make it completely dark and have there somebody reading a book uh, of Little Prince. I want to uh, go and explore the, the <coughs> secret and hidden sounds uh, within bar uh, Barbican. So, yeah. Which is cross-reality platform. Um, if you have like data, something that actually streams to the web, and you can grab that data, and if you have, kind of relies on having at least a little bit of a 3D model of the space that you're working in. You could be thinking about is like what you could do with some of the data that's being generated by, by those kind of sensors. And that's exactly why I came here, you know, to, to, to meet interesting people. I'm not saying that I'm not interesting. I'm not <laughs> 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 I just uh, share ideas and come up with beautiful things, interesting cool. things, inter things that have experiential value, yeah. Great. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you.